Hey, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video and today we are going to be showcasing the newly Extreme Z Awakened Fizz Goku Black on the global side of the game. Now, in case you guys missed the big news, this guy is just straight up better on the global side compared to his JP counterpart and by quite a bit, which is just such a weird thing for me to say. I mean, I've been saying it quite a bit over the past couple days, but every single time I hear those words come out of my mouth, it's just, it blows my mind, man. It's so weird to me because generally speaking, when it comes to these global versus JP comparisons, JP almost always comes out on top, right? But not this time. All right, not today. Today, Global has emerged victorious for this one specific unit. And I don't care if it's not that big of a deal to some people. I don't care if JP still has the lead, still has the edge in a lot of departments. I'm going to take this. I'm going to run with this. And uh, it just feels so good, man, to say after being a Global main for three plus years, right? So... Um, anyways guys, definitely a showcase, definitely a unit I've been looking forward to using. And as far as the differences go for Global versus JP, the main thing to pay attention to is the attack stat, which is uh, about 1600 more on Global than JP. And that does make a very, very big difference. His HP stat is also a little bit higher as well, but that doesn't really make that much of a difference. And uh, also, he does maintain his extreme class support on the passive, giving all extreme class allies key plus three, which makes him a lot more valuable and a lot more viable on basically any team that has multiple extreme units, right? And uh, everything else does stay the same. So aside from the extra stats, aside from the uh, support passive, which the JP version doesn't have, and those two are definitely game changers, Everything else is the same as the JP version. So his leader skill is Fizz types, key plus three, HP, attack, and defense plus 120%. His super attack causes immense damage and greatly lowers attack and defense. And his passive is extreme class, key plus three, attack and defense plus 15% per key sphere obtained, key plus one with each attack received up to five, and randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres plus an additional attack and defense plus 5% per key sphere obtained when there is a Goku's family category enemy. All right, so those are the stats, guys. I can't wait to check this guy out. I'm expecting some absolutely disgusting numbers, just like massive, massive damage numbers. So let's see if he, uh, you know, lives up to the hype. All right, so first rotation, looking pretty good. We are linked with the LR, uh, Rose, and Zamasu. And as you can see, the LR already has 17 key before getting any orbs. And of course, that is thanks to the support passive from the Fizz Goku Black. And we're going to start him off with uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's 8 orbs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I think either way, it's going to be 8 orbs. So let's give him these orbs right here. And by the way, you might have noticed we are on the Legendary Goku event. I don't intend to clear it by any means. So with the 8 orbs, this guy has 362,180 attack and 98,841 defense, which is actually quite respectable defensively. And we'll give, uh, let's say, 4 orbs to the LR Goku Black for that 18 key super. And Trunks can super as well, because why not? Okay, so Goku Black, do your thing. 2.55 million for the first initial super and we're tanking a normal hit for 49 damage the super is gonna do 74k okay so we're not tanking the super to the super too well that did quite a bit of damage but um so did we all right so did we we did quite a bit of damage to the goku as well so that was a pretty good first showing guys I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. I had really, really high expectations for this guy going in. And I gotta say, he's already living up to them, if not exceeding them with a 2.5 mil attack stat. The literally the first attack, guys. Literally the first attack with no additional supports. Um, and, you know, not like a crazy amount of orbs. Eight orbs is a decent amount, but it's not like that hard to get. So, uh, yeah, I do... 
expect to see some even crazier things going forward. Alright, so next rotation, second rotation, second round. Don't pay too much attention to the damage you're doing to the Goku. Uh, pay more attention to the actual attack stat that we get, since uh, the Goku is going to be pretty tanky, especially when we go to the later stages, right? I'm probably going to do like the first two or three stages, and then maybe three or four stages, and then call it a day. Because like I said, if we're doing the entire run, it's going to it's gonna take too long. You guys don't need to see all that. So, um, yeah. Okay, so second rotation. I'm actually gonna let the Trunks super first, since he does give us an additional 30% attack boost with his super. And then after that, we can give one, two, three, four, five, six, seven orbs. Um, hmm, interesting. Well, I guess that's the best we can do for this rotation, so I guess I will. I guess I will take it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven orbs right there. Um, 376,000 attack and 102,000 defense. And then Rose and Zamasu can almost get a full 24 key super. Alright, so Trunks is gonna super first. Give us that extra support with his super attack. And then Goku Black is gonna do 2.76 million. Oh, that's nice. That's okay. We're, we're, we're taking another super. Alright, another chance to test the tanking. 103,000, 103,000. So uh, he's not going to be a top tier tank by any means. I'm, I'm not saying that he's going to be, you know, one of your best tanks on your team or anything like that. Uh, I think the Int Goku Black is still the better option if you're running the Legendary Goku event or the Infinite Dragon Ball History event or essentially any event where you are looking to stack defense. Um, Int Goku Black is still the better option. But if you're running an event where you don't have to worry too much, about uh, tanking, about the enemy doing like crazy damage to you, and you're just looking for raw damage numbers, just like straight up crazy, crazy amounts of damage output, then the Fizz Goku Black is the way to go, guys. The Fizz Goku Black is definitely the way to go. As you can see, man, he's, he's casually, casually getting 2.5, close to 3 mil, and uh, let's see if we can do even better here. Change a few orbs. Okay, so 1, 2... Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm, can we do better? Can we do better than seven? We actually can't. You know what? What I'm gonna do is uh, actually change a few orbs here. So I did bring orb changing items because I do intend to do a quick nuke test with a full board of uh, same type orbs so we can see his max damage output. But let's actually just do one item here. I'm gonna use the, let's see, uh, hold on. So let's actually use this one right here to get a bunch of those HEL orbs. And how many are we getting? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Is that 13? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, no, 12. Okay, so 12 orbs. We got the support from the trunks, got the support from the Mai, and uh, 155,000 defense, attack 525,000. This one should be pretty nice. Uh, eventually, I do want to get him linked up with the Rosé as well, so we can get like the support from the Mai and also the additional uh, additional attack from well the links from the Rosé, but also the additional attack from the Rosé Super. Wow, <laughs> three point eight six million! Oh my god, and almost three million with the crit. Um, okay, okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, I think that's an understatement, of course. Definitely the understatement of the year. Not bad. Um, close to 4 million attack, guys. Now, I did use an item. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna pretend that, like, that was completely uh, natural. But it was only one item. Only one item. And it was not, like, a full board of orbs. It was um, 12, right? So about half the board. About half the board. And he got almost 4 million and not even linked with his best linking partner either. So, yeah, I, that that's that's just pretty good. <laughs> I'll say that's pretty good, man. I freaking love this uh, this awakening, and they did a great job. They they really did a great job. I love the fact that he's better um, on on JP. I mean, on, not JP. Sorry, better on global as well. It just makes me feel good as a global main uh, as a person who 
uh, has definitely been tempted by the JP side, but stuck, you know, stuck with it, stuck with global, and uh, just stayed strong this entire time. And we're getting rewarded a little bit for it. I mean, we do get rewarded once in a while, right? We do, we do get like uh, the tickets for celebrations and stuff like that, but. Uh, never have we gotten like a unit that was just like straight up better, like objectively better on global compared to the JP version. And, uh, you know, this it, 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 it just feels good. It just feels good. We just took a normal hit from the Super Saiyan 3 Goku for 39 damage. So still tanking very effectively, still tanking very well. Um, not the greatest tank by any means. I just want to reiterate, he's not like the best tank he can possibly have, that's for sure. But he can hold his own. He can do, you know, do some good tanking for you. And when you combine that with just the outrageous amount of damage, the out outrageous amounts of attack that he can he he can get, um, I think I think is just fine, man. I think he is just fine. Now I don't think he's on the same level. Like I don't think he's as good as Injinemba, for example, who just does everything and still hits really hard. But this guy theoretically can hit a lot harder and uh, also does some pretty good tanking. Okay, so this is gonna be a very, very good rotation for us. Um, let's see, let's see, how can I play this? So if I get both of these guys to super first, and then Goku Black at the end, um, then we should get some really, really nice boosts. Only thing that worries me is the fact <laughs> <laughs> that uh, neither the Rose or the Trunks are super tanky, so they could die if we uh, get supered. But you know what, I I'm gonna take the risk. I'm gonna take the risk. We'll see what happens. And we're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight orbs. Okay, so eight orbs. Uh, we're gonna get the boost from the two supers uh, from the Trunks as well as the Rose, hopefully. Actually, another concern would be they kill. Not sure that's not gonna happen. Never mind. I was gonna say, yo, what if those guys kill the Goku before we get to the the Fizz Black? But I'm like, there's no way that's gonna happen. There's no way that's gonna happen. Yo, look at Rose though, 2.8 mil. Not too shabby. But this guy's even better. <laughs> 3.7 million, and tanking for nine damage. Okay, casual, 9 damage. The second hit was 100. I don't know exactly how the calculations work. Like, why is one hit 9 and the next one is 100? I'm not really sure. Damage reduction in this game is a little bit strange sometimes. Um, but, yo, not bad showing, man. That, that, was, that, was, that was pretty good. 3.7 million. Uh, you know what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit because we're not going to see the Fizz Black for two turns. So once the Fizz Black comes back, then I will return to uh, you know the showcase. So hold on tight guys, I'll see you in just a second. Okay, so Fizz Black is back and I think it's time we actually put these items to use. So we're going to make a full board of... I think uh, the final one's gonna be Fizz, right? So full board of Fizz orbs right here. And do a little bit of a nuke test, have a little fun here. Now, we are also getting a token attack, so we're not gonna get to see that actual final damage number, which makes me a little bit sad, but, uh, or at least like the attack stat prior to the final damage. But uh, it should still be fun. It, st it should still be pretty good. Now, unfortunately, we do have some rainbow orbs, so we're gonna miss out on two of the orbs at the bottom. So this is gonna be 21 orbs, since the full board is 23. So 21 orbs right here. Uh, let's see what 21 orbs gets us to. All right, so 724,000 attack and 197,000 defense. Not too bad. And uh, I guess Rose can take these and I'll give Trunks one orb since he's already good to go. Okay, so we're taking normals for 50. 57. Let me focus here real quick and get all these orbs for you guys, all these nodes. One, two, three, four, five, six, boom. Okay. I was a little nervous. I was a little nervous. But we got it. But let's see what we can do right here. I wish we could see the attack stat for token attacks, but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not bad, right? Pretty decent. 7.2 million with the crit. Token attack. 
Um, yeah. Okay. That was nice. That that was th th that was respectable. I, I yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh man, okay, so I'm gonna try to get the supports um, together with... Oh, you know what, actually, next rotation we're gonna have the Fizz Black as well as the Trunks and also the Rosé, so that's gonna be a pretty good rotation. Uh, let's take her out here. Uh, definitely concerned about the Rosé. I mean, if, if we're gonna die, it's gonna be, you know, because of that Rosé. Uh, <laughs> mm, I mean... Yeah, I, I, I want to take the Mai out of rotation because I do want her to get with the Fizz Goku Black still. Um, you know what? We're going to risk it. It's okay. it's okay. If we die, we die. All right? We've seen enough. We've seen enough. We know we know he's a monster. We know he's ridiculous. So if we have to die here, then I'll take it. All right? Um, but yeah, guys. There's not much else to say, is there? There's not much else to say. He's insane. He's amazing. He's better on global. I'll keep saying that for as long as I possibly can before it gets annoying. Maybe it's already annoying. Maybe you guys are already tired of me saying that. But uh, it's fact. All right, it's it's just straight up true. He is better on global. I think we're dead here actually. Yeah, we're dead here. That's too bad. That is too bad. Well, you know what? I think that is totally fine. You guys have seen enough from this guy to know that he is awesome. And uh, I can't wait for the official EZA to drop on Global. It's going to come out in four days after this video releases on November 25th. So get ready for that, guys. And uh, that's going to do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about the brand new Fizz Goku Black, or at least the new and improved Fizz Goku Black with this Extreme Z Awakening. And uh, as always, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time i hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out